This is Scott Ritchie, and this is Mathematical Models of Pressure Control Ventilation. And today we're going to be talking about the relationship of intrinsic PEEP to set frequency. Now there's this fallacy that you cannot use respiratory rates over 25 during pressure control ventilation. Now I'm speaking specifically of pressure control ventilation. Um, this fallacy is based on volume control ventilation, and when you increase the respiratory rate, you're going to start a lot of air trapping, and it's going to create a lot of auto peep or dynamic peep. So this mathematical model is going to kind of explain that, and how what happens is during pressure control ventilation, when you increase your frequency, you do have intrinsic peep build up, but then it plateaus off. And this is a function of my airway resistance as well as my duty cycle. Or you can think of duty cycle as your IE ratio, your inspiratory time percent, or your I time setting. And the compliance does have to play there. So first let's go over here. We're looking at the mid-frequency simulator, which is a made by Robert Chatburn. And this is based on mathematical models of pressure control ventilation. And we're looking at the current variables. These are our patient variables. And what we have here is a pretty average compliance of 50. However, I created a very high airway resistance. So with this high airway resistance, you would think there would be a lot of air trapping. Additionally, we have an inspiratory pressure setting of 20 centimeters of water. And that is above my applied PEEP of 5 centimeters of water. And here's my duty cycle. It's the 33% duty cycle which is an IE ratio of 1 to 2. So that's my setting. Now we look at the output variables and we look at our graphs here. And as we notice, if we're going down to our mean airway pressure and our auto peep, so our auto peep is these blue diamonds, that as you start to increase the frequency above 25, we start to generate auto peep. But as you notice, even at the high frequencies, it starts to plateau off. So we're not having real dangerous levels of auto peep. So why is this? It starts to plateau off around six centimeters of water. Because what happens is, is the lungs are not fully have enough time to exhale, so this decreases my minute ventilation, specifically my tidal volume. And as you notice from this graph, my minute ventilation plateaus off, however my alveolar ventilation decreases, and this is based on my tidal volume, which we'll see actually with our ventilator model. So the biggest factors with intrinsic PEEP and frequency is more of your duty cycle. So I'm just going to change this example. If I give the patient less time to exhale, I'm going to set a 50%, or you can think of this as a 1 to 1 IE ratio. As you notice, my auto peep does go up again. However, as you can see, it plateaus off. Now let's look at this with the ventilator model. Okay, here's my ventilator model. And the left-hand portion of the screen and top window I'm opening up, you can see a compliance of 50 in gray. That's just to show I have a compliance of 50. And there's my... Peak pressure 25 and my peak measure peep of 6 right now. And this is show I have an inspiratory time of 1 second, which is an IE ratio of 1 to 2 or a 33% duty cycle. Change the respiratory rate to 30. And I'm going to change the I time so I have the same IE ratio of 1 to 2. And let's go ahead and look at the measured peep, and which hasn't changed at all. I'm going to change the alarm right now. So my alarm doesn't keep on going up when I start increasing the minute ventilation by increasing my respiratory rate. So now I have a respiratory rate of 30. There's no intrinsic PEEP or auto PEEP at all on this duty cycle of 33% or IE ratio. And I will continue to increase the respiratory rate, which I'm doing now, to 40 breaths per minute. And let's go ahead and change my duty cycle again or my I time, or my I time percent, so I have a 1 to 2 IE ratio again. 
And on 40, you start to see we're starting to generate a little auto peep. If we look at our measure peep on the top left-hand corner, we have a peep of 6. So we're not generating a lot of auto peep at all. I'm going to increase my respiratory rate again. Let's change it to 50 and see what happens. So I'm going to increase it to 50. I'm going to go to my additional settings, change my inspiratory time percent, and to keep an IE ratio of 1 to 2. As you notice, my tidal volume starts to go down, and that's why we're not generating tons of auto peep, and we're only at a total peep of 6 centimeters of water. So that shows that 